Hi, this is Bradley Bartz with ABC Solar. Today, we're talking about photovoltaic with advanced storage systems. Our recommendations are the Pika Energy System, SMA with BYD batteries, and Fortress Energy. We do not recommend Solar Edge whatsoever. Today, we get to learn about battery systems and how they combine with photovoltaic solar energy to create a backup storage environment and one that also plays arbitrage with Southern California Edison and time of use metering. We're going to learn a lot more. Let me take a moment and introduce you to Mike Bartz, our lead installer. So this is the breaker for the battery input, these two wires. Okay. And then I'm going to pull some wires from the roof, and that will go into um, spot uh, two and four. So I'll have um, two strings of seven on this one. They get combined on the roof, and then one string of eight right here at this point. Now this is um, the AC output that goes to the grid. So we have um, neutral line one, line two. Okay. Line three is available if it's a three phase system. And then for your protected loads or your critical load panel, that'll be right here. And this is our protected loads. So this is our breaker right here. So it's worth 50 amps. So we can do up to 50 amps worth of protected loads in the event of a power failure from Southern California Edison, which seems to happen frequently when we have the wildfires. And our back beam, our back feed goes through this disconnect that's required by the fire department. So in the event of a fire, they can come here and rapidly shut down the solar. No power, no power from, from the roof. In how many seconds? Really fast. The panels de-energize in less than 10 seconds. Just to... So I can put that as a subtitle? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm in the, the process of um, installing some um, current transformers and these will wrap around our main conductors between all the household loads and the grid. So this is our grid supply at the top. These current transformers will round, wrap around mm -hmm. wires and measure the current that the house is using. So as and, and it'll used. measure both directions, actually. Yeah, it'll measure both directions. And then when um, the, there's a need for extra power from the batteries, it will send a signal to the inverter and then pull juice from the battery to keep you out of uh, the expense of electricity in the afternoon. That's right. Which is and 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. 4 p.m. to yes. 9 p.m. So here's the, um, the batteries section right here. So this is... Um, and these are uh, Panasonic batteries. I have a total of uh, three of them here. Each one of them is like 3.6 kilowatt hours worth of stored energy. And so this whole system is just under 10, which is uh, one of the things that's required by um, Southern California Edison. This one also has a battery disconnect switch, which is right here at the top. And right here is another battery for a black start. And the black start is in case these run down really low and there's not enough energy for them to start themselves, this battery supplies that missing energy. Unlike okay. the LG batteries that you have to charge with some funky remote charger that travels across the country. Yeah, well, so what that small battery is doing would be a voltage boost to tell the charge controller that it has voltage. The Pika Energy Company was recently purchased by Generac, the world's largest generator manufacturer. This allows ABC Solar to feel confident in the long-term support of this very fine equipment. What we're looking at are the various components that Mike just explained to us, the Pika Energy Power Core and the Harbor Battery Stack that can fit six modules so we can double the size of the batteries from this Pika Energy system. 
SMA. Okay. For over 20 years, ABC Solar has been designing and installing solar grid tie and backup system. Now, our choice is the Sunny Boy Storage with BYD batteries and the automatic backup unit. The communications is a little bit difficult to understand, but once you get it, inspection any minute now. These guys are rushing to smile and everything. Got these guys up here. Okay, here we go. The DJI drone gives us beautiful views of this home, but really, it's our master installer, Robert Maris. What you doing, Bob? Taking our DC wires to our PV inverter. Got three strings. A, B, C. Okay. Thanks, Bob. That was very helpful. So, what we learn about wiring these systems is, of course, always safety. SMA has done a very good job with its integration on how we connect the very main components together. Let's review. You have a battery stack, which houses the dumb batteries. Then you have the storage unit that charges those batteries and takes power from those batteries and delivers them to the automatic backup unit. That's the one with the door open right now. Once it's in the automatic backup unit, it is then fed to be able to run household loads. You can see inside the backup unit that it is substantial. The SMA BYD solution and the automatic backup unit have 200 amp bus, so you can back up the entire home. For this installation, however, we decided to back up major household loads, but leave the pool pump and the air conditioner on the main panel. This way, during a blackout, the pool pump or air conditioning won't overwhelm the batteries because they are designed for backup purposes. Now, we're spending a lot of time showing you the wires. This is outdoor rated Cat5 wire with eight wires and a UV shielding. Each of these connectors are specifically required to be able to communicate between the various units. The wire diagrams are very key because sometimes you do something called a crossover, meaning left is right, right is left, and then they all talk to each other for some reason. Computer people are silly. They love wires. When you notice, there's a clip along the bottom with the shielding kind of pulled back and then put into those clips. That's actually a grounding lug for our communications wires, very conveniently located and placed. Now, one thing that we did learn with this system is in the middle right there is the watt node meter that measures the energy production of the solar system the usage of the batteries, and the usage of the home. So, those wires for communication are really a tight fit. So, in the future, always install those first. By the way, this installation has LG Solar 360-watt black-on-black panels. There's 30 of them up there. They're connected to a SMA Sunny Boy 7.7 .7 PV inverter. The cousin you see on the top here is the Sunny Storage Unit. Below, the four BYD battery stack and on top, the control unit. Here, 
we see a different installation with the BYD battery stack. Again, the SMA ABU is going to allow a whole home backup. This home we get to talk about later too, because some other spectacular stuff is going on. I'm really learning how to fly that drone, don't you think? So give us a call anytime, 310-373-3169. It's ABC Solar. Our choice really does appear to be the SMA BYD automatic backup unit component. Notice how they stack cleanly on top of each other. Well, sometimes my drone work is a little upside down. Sorry about that. The Sunny Boy storage unit is right above the storage pack because we like it. Now, we're going to take a moment and learn more from Bob about what's going on in this installation. Take it away, Bob. Okay, final piece of conduit, right? Yes, sir. Bob. So where is this going? To the roof. This is our DC run. Okay. So up here, this will go up to the roof and then allow us to bring the AC run down from the roof. Well, actually, it's a DC run. So the DC run down from the roof is going to come across there. And follow with me, everybody. We got here the Sunny Boy. Um, this is a 7.7 .7 kilowatt. Um, let's take a look at it. Here we go. And so with the 7.7 .7 kilowatt inverter, this during normal operations is our grid tie inverter. So the panels come down from the roof, land into this inverter, and then generate the power. Now, because we have a backup system, yes, a backup system. So if the grid goes down, then we're going to be powering a critical load panel. Let's talk about how that's configured. You can see here from the output from the inverter, we're coming over to what's called the automatic backup unit. It has a special key. Let's always remember we need that in the field. Maybe if I'm nice to Bob, he'll open that for us and we can see all the rock and roll. Basically, this is a 200 amp transfer switch, automatic transfer switch. Here, we're taking uh, from the main panel over there and we're feeding into a critical load panel, which is located inside of here. Let's see if this is open. Nope. And Bob's going to open it for us. Did you see that? Oh, he's got a key. Oh, that's exciting. Tell us what it is. It's an ABV unit, which, an automatic backup unit. Okay. It's acting as a as the grid. We're gonna have, here's the grid. Okay, this comes from the the, the main panel. Correct. This goes to our, our sub panel, critical load panel. Critical load panel, okay. From the roof, it goes down to this breaker, PV inverter. Okay. And then this is the battery that's in the garage over there. Okay, okay. show us the battery real quick. So the PV inverter lands on that breaker, and now we run into the garage. You can see Bob running like he's going to first base. Okay. This is the battery inverter. This is the what we call the Sunny Storage 6.0 battery inverter and the BYD battery stack, each with 2.5 approximately kilowatt hours each for a total of 10 kilowatt hours. Mm -hmm. That's fed to this unit. Now, one of the things we all also have to do is communications. So today we're going to take this line here and we're going to use <clears throat> crimps and. The way this is done is basically we need to line up the wires the same here as we use over there. Mm -hmm. So we'll use this. You know how to use this tool? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and strip it off. Uh, it doesn't, yeah, okay. So using this tool is going to make the wires available for identification. And then uh, they are individually going to be pushed into this crimp, which is a standard RJ45 crimp. And this is going to go inside the sunny storage. Okay, be right back, Andrew. Fortress Energy! Okay, really. ABC Solar is torn. We really like the Fortress Power Evolve. It's an 18.5 kilowatt clean package. 
when we compare it to other units, I don't know. This one really is military grade and has a lot of information. You can pause these slides later to read them. You can see the clean package here. It's intelligent, reliable, and comes in nice tidy packages. Anytime you size a battery system, you're sizing for the load of the home and the configuration of the home. This home needed this technology. Let's learn more from Mike right now. What are we doing here, Mike? Avoiding the video. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Tell us what's going on. All right. We're hooking up a Soul Arc, and uh, we're going to be running uh, DC power out of our fortress. Secure energy for you. Or I guess it says something different. But um, anyway, we're going to have our DC positive negative inputs over here. And right here where the generator port is on this particular inverter, we are going to be using in-phase microinverters and the AC from the in-phase will feed into the generator port here. Then I have right next door, I have a grid connection for a 50 amp number six wire going into the grid connection. And right next door, I have my load, which will be my critical load. So in the event of a power outage, the solar arc will isolate from the grid and then power up the critical load. And when the grid is on, the grid power will pass through the solar arc and power up the critical load. So you have your whole house running all the time. And when the power goes out, you have refrigerator, alarm system, video, chat. What's that, What's that other one called? Communication. Communication. Oh, oh, oh and, and, and lights. And lights. Can't yeah. forget the lights. Yeah. So those will be up when the power goes down. So anyway, that's uh, the short. That's the short of it. Great. Thank you very much. So the Fortress Evolve really is one of our choices. We like the solar arc system and other things. We're also going to talk about Pika Energy Systems and what else we did on this site. We took the pool pump off of the grid. No, augmented the pool pump. Now, Solar Edge left me on the bleeding edge. Forget it. I don't even want to talk about it. Ugh. Now, my wife says I can't tell you this, but they're a skunk of a company, that Solar Edge, and they're a skunk of a company, that LG Chem. They don't deserve to be called Solar Edge. They're solar losers. But our team did a really good job. This system uh, it does feature some nice photographs, so we're going to show them here anyways. Everything looks pretty clean. Let's listen more.
this is the site where they actually blew up. This is the unit we replaced three times, four times. And they didn't repay us. Cost me $1,000 to ship it to them, uh, to Michigan. Can't believe it. Time to clean these guys out of the industry. The Spider-Man says so. You gotta go. Even the owl. My personal owl is mad. But enough of them. Now for the fun part. ABC Solar does see storage everywhere. Next up, solar thermal hot water system. You heat water during the day with the sun and you use it at night. Put it under your bed, heat your bed. Heat your hot tub, can't believe it. Heat the soil around your hot tub and grow year round. It doesn't matter. A long time ago, we just pulled a handle to get our flames. Pulled a handle to get our flames. Pulled a handle to get our flames. Today, ABC Solar sees a lot more action than solar can do in regards to fighting fires. We introduce you now the solar fire drum system off-grid portable fire stations check them out they're terrific our city has a lot to offer and the owl does think so safety first always here we are installing a generation meter adapter this allows us to fit a lot of solar power 64 amps into 60 amp main panels 100 amp main panels because the meter socket itself is doing the backup this is a nissan leaf put back together so that we can run it again to run houses that battery stack is a byd from a utility scale buying old batteries and repurposing them is part of making chocolate chip cookies taste better by using the solar oven. Did you see the transition there? We wonder. So, I'm gonna calm down because I really did have fun, but to me, Catalina Island and the sunset above this client's house was too spectacular to pass up. So, I give to you Rue La Fleur, a solar grid tie installation with an SMA BYD advanced battery stack. We know you're going to love it. I think I'm just going to add music here. This is Brad Bartz reporting live from ABC Solar talking about advanced storage systems. Our choice the SMA BYD with the automatic backup unit for 200 amp panels. Get the whole house. We like Pika Energy and Generac. Really clean install. Great for direct solar panels. It's a built-in inverter. The Fortress Energy System with the Evolve, 18 and a half kilowatts. It has a 20 kilowatt peak inverter. This allows us to run all sorts of stuff. So, before the sun sets, we have to ask a few more questions. ABC Solar has been doing this job for 20 years. We take it seriously. This video was fun to make, but it is hard to talk about bad choices we made in that Solar Edge and LG Chem turned out to be bad choices. In this business, if the manufacturers do not stand up for their equipment, I'm going to tell you about it. And I won't sell you their stuff. We still stand up for the goods that are there because we need to. ABC Solar is a proud company. We are on the bleeding edge. You can learn much by going to abcsolar.com or reading some of the many books that we write about solar energy systems.
On YouTube, you will find many more videos, even the solar chicken video. Okay, I'm going to change direction now. Is everyone done with their lunch? The presentation is about to begin. ABC Solar is simple. We want to tell you that we're founded in Torrance, California, and that our professionals with Spanish tile roofs. We like to strip the tile and lay it down. We do commercial systems. Albert Einstein won the Nobel Prize for the photovoltaic effect. What happens is in the solar industry, we work with giants and we're bringing to you new technology and new applications. If the sun can do the job, let it. Electricity prices are not going down. They keep going up. The sun works in almost any direction that you put the solar panels, except in your garage. Enjoy it. Visit Solar Bar. Thanks again for listening to ABC Solar talk about our exciting technologies. Photovoltaic systems work. Advanced storage systems are ready. We've been doing this for 20 years, and I can say firmly that it's time to cut the cord. You can make your own power. You can live off of the grid in the city. This year, 2020, my clients will turn off Edison. Turn them off. No more bills. No more ridiculous statements. Your home can do it. In fact, you can power your neighbors from your rooftop. This is Brad Bartz at ABC Solar. Please call us, 310-373-3169 abcsolar.com